What's up everyone? Welcome back to the shop. You know what I really need is a spray booth, but not one of those tent spray booths, like a box, a, a, a spray booth. L let's make a spray booth. I cut the sides, the top, and the bottom, so those pieces are done. Now I need to cut some dados on all of those pieces. That's gonna house the back panel whenever we're ready to do that. So I put a dado stack in my saw and I put a sacrificial fence up here. I got some cool clamps. These are from Rockler, not sponsored, but they're just really handy. It helps me to clamp my sacrificial fence to my main fence. The blade, I set the dado thickness to the thickness of my workpiece. And then the height, I set it so that it, uh, it doesn't cut through the board. I don't know what it is. Sometimes we just make stuff up on the fly. I threw together a cabinet. This is really easy stuff. We're not dealing with super fine furniture here. I just took the plywood, glued it together, shot some nails into it, and well, we have a cabinet now. I sanded the whole thing with 120 grit. No need to really go crazy with this again. It's a spray booth. Now I need to attach the door, and to do that, I'm gonna use this piano hinge. It's gonna basically stick it on there, drill it into place. Now this thing is way too long, so... Uh... This is what I like about making. We can completely change things on the fly, like with this cabinet. Originally, I was gonna have it standing tall because most of the stuff I'm gonna spray are gonna be taller projects. But in hindsight, now I look at it, I kinda like it over on its side because now I have plenty of room for a lazy Susan so I can spin my project around as I'm spraying finish. So now I also don't have to worry about having a latch to hold the lid in place, the door in place. Now it's just gonna swing open like normal. I did put a latch here on the side. This is just some recycled hardware that I got from an old table. Table had a leaf and a little latch would just kind of keep the leaf in place. So I recycled that. That is looking awesome. Next step is I need some ventilation. So I am going to install a fan in this to help suck out all the fumes. Let me show you what I got. This is an electronics fan that I picked up and it's got a couple grates here. So the plan is to mount this onto the backside of our cabinet, having the air blow outwards and then I'll hook up some sort of like vent hose or something like that to this so it will blow out the window. So I need to drill a hole out that is uh, about the size of that, which is around four and a quarter, four inches, something like that. Before we move on, let me answer a couple questions that I know I'm gonna get asked. So, question number one. Why use three quarter material instead of half inch material? Well, half inch material would have worked out absolutely fine. I just didn't have any in the shop that didn't look like a potato chip. So, you know, kind of roll with what I got. Why didn't you just? Because I didn't feel like it. That fan is not strong enough. First off, that is not a question. Second off, maybe, maybe not. I think it's gonna be absolutely fine for this project. It's not like I'm pushing air any great distance. This is gonna be rolled up right against the window. Not a big deal. But let's say it is a little bit underpowered. Well, I will simply swap it out for a bigger one because you know what? I'm a maker, that's what makers do. Why don't you use a spray booth? That's another good question. Well, the reason why I don't is because, well, I did and I didn't simply like it. It was a tent, it was kind of floppy. It allowed dust to get into it a little bit easier than if I would have had a door that I could completely shut. And well, I found that it was ruining my project. So I would spray something like lacquer in it and it would stick to the sides. And then whenever I'd spray my next project, it would flake off and land on the project. Now I tried cleaning it the best I could, but it's kind of hard when you have a tent to try to clean. And that's what leads me to the next phase of this project. I got an idea for how to deal with that. 
This is corrugated plastic sheeting. This is the type of stuff you see on like political signs, you know, that stuff that's kind of impervious, it sits outside in the rain, the snow, and somehow it still survives. That's what this is. It's light, it's flexible. I'm gonna line the entire inside with this. I'm gonna hold it in place with some Velcro, some peel and stick Velcro that I can put on the back of it. That way, if I ever want to change this out, I peel it off, I clean it, or I replace it. Super simple. Also gives me a really nice reflective surface on the inside, so it's a little bit easier to see my project. With the fan installed, now I need to figure out a way to vent all of that air out somewhere. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna install a box that has a hole in it, and then I can attach some ductwork to it, stick that out the window, let it do its thing. I got the spray booth set up. I got it over by the window so it can vent outside. So let's give it a try. Right now I have the booth sitting on a Harbor Freight metal stand. Now I am gonna put a mobile base on this. I ordered one waiting for it to finally arrive in the mail because I just didn't feel like making my own, but Looks good, fits on the stand just perfectly. Well, here we go. We got us a really cool box. Uh, looks pretty good for something that was thrown together really quick. And I have to say, the spray booth worked out great. Uh, you know, you smell the fumes whenever you're first spraying, that's just gonna happen. But as soon as I shut that door, the fumes went away. You couldn't smell it here in the shop. You definitely couldn't smell it in the rest of the house. And well, I live in Michigan, that means that I can't spray outside for half the year. So be able to spray something like this or shellac or whatever else in here without it actually having a negative impact on everyone, it's fantastic. So if you're looking to make a spray booth, maybe something like this might be best for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel. Maybe check out this other video up here. And to meet again, get in your shop and build something awesome. Uh-oh.